been pitfalls of relationships, man. Uh, you know, it's, it's good to be here. It's good to be here in Pasadena. Good to, you know, it's beautiful. And I can see that in Pasadena, it's always Black History Month, always. Because if you black, they want you to be history fast. <laughs> <laughs> Fast. <laughs> yeah, but you know, on my way driving in and stuff, you know, I, I, I drive around, I go to the casinos and stuff. Man, I want to give it up to the Native Americans for their casinos. I love how they got down and they got their stuff together. Yeah, they deserve that applause. Give it to them. <laughs> I was impressed. I went to the Indian casino, I was like, man, this is nice. Everybody's so courteous and organized and professional. And I was like, well, dang, how come black people ain't got casinos? And I thought about that, I was like, we ain't ready for that. We ain't ready, we are not ready for that. I pictured the black casino, what the black casino would be like. You know, we wouldn't even have the same kind of games. You know, even playing dominoes, playing Monopoly with real money, shooting dice but on the floor. You know, we, our sports book would be different. We didn't be betting on games, we'd be betting on Mori results. I told you he wasn't a daddy. <laughs> Shoot, our, our celebrity suites would be different. It wouldn't be no Frank Sinatra suite. No, 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 it'd be the Kobe Bryant OJ suite. It would come with a white woman and a lawyer. <laughs> Just for practice. <laughs> but anyway, man. Uh, not that I'm all upset and angry about everything in 2013. Look, I love 2013. I thought about it. If I had uncles and grandfathers that were alive right now, they'd be in black man heaven. We have seedless watermelon. We have boneless chicken. We got our black president and white women with ass. We made it. I'm ready to marry these, y'all. Thanks. <laughs>